Hi my friend, how are you today? Today we come to the 1966 Star Trek original series that has won the hearts of generations with its iconic characters and futuristic storytelling. Decades after its first premiere, we still look back at this groundbreaking series with admiration. And now we can explore the then and now of the beloved cast. From William Shatner's Captain Kirk to Leonard Nimoy's Spock, join us on a journey through time as we discover how these actors have changed since their Star Trek days. Let's go. Risk is our business. That's what the Starship's all about. That's why we're aboard her. William Shatner played the iconic role of Captain James T. Kirk in Star Trek The Original Series. Shatner's portrayal of Kirk as a confident, charismatic, and occasionally impulsive leader made him a fan favorite. His on-screen chemistry with Leonard Nimoy's character, Mr. Spock, added an extra layer of depth to the show. I, I do because it went through so many metamorphoses that it, uh, we were canceled and then uh, Star Wars was... A Shatner's performance in the series helped to establish Star Trek as a cultural phenomenon and has left a lasting impact on science fiction television. Fascinating is a word I use for the unexpected. Fascinating. Leonard Nimoy played the iconic character of Mr. Spock. With his signature pointed ears and calm demeanor, Spock is the epitome of logic and reason, providing a striking contrast to the emotional and impulsive people around him. The material they were buying, the scripts they were buying, were not good Star Trek. Spock's brain is an example. Nimoy's half-human, half-Vulcan portrayal has earned him countless fans and cemented his place in pop culture history. What do you think about Mr. Spock? The game has rules. You're ignoring them. I protest and you... Nichelle Nichols played the iconic role of Lieutenant Uhura, a communication officer in the Starship Enterprise. She was one of the first African-American women to be cast in a non-stereotypical role on television, breaking down racial barriers in the industry. The first time, he said, you're on the command crew. Do you understand? You her character's intelligence, competence, and grace under pressure made her a fan favorite and a symbol of hope for generations of young viewers. What are your thoughts on actress Nichelle Nichols and her role as Nyota Uhura? <laughs> DeForest Kelly played the role of Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy in Star Trek The Original Series, the chief medical officer of the USS Enterprise. Kelly brought a level of warmth and humor to his character that made him a fan favorite. Letter I received, I opened it up and there was a marijuana cigarette glued to a piece of cardboard. His character was known for his gruff exterior but had a soft spot for his patients and colleagues. Kelly's performance helped to create a memorable character that has endured for decades. What do you think about the role of Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy? George Takei portrayed the character of Hikaru Sulu in Star Trek The Original Series. Sulu was the helmsman of the USS Enterprise, and Takei played him with a calm and collected demeanor. Takei's performance as Sulu made him a fan favorite, and he later reprised the role in several Star Trek films. To smithereens by the, by the Klingons, they have the upper hand in this, but who should come to rescue but Captain... Outside of Star Trek, Takei has been an advocate for human rights and LGBTQ plus issues, using his platform to promote acceptance and equality. I'll not lower my defenses on the word of that mealy mouth gentleman down below. Not until I know what happened to the captain. James Doohan played the role of Montgomery Scotty Scott, the chief engineer of the Starship Enterprise. He is known for his distinctive Scottish accent and his ability to beam crew members from the ship to the planet's surface. Doohan's portrayal of Scotty made him a fan favorite and a vital part of the Star Trek franchise. Uh, I called her. I said, hey, this is Jimmy Doohan. Scotty. He continued to play the role throughout the original series and in several of the subsequent films. What do you think about the role of Montgomery Scotty Scott? Of course, Doctor. The Garden of Eden was just outside Moscow. It must have made Adam and Eve very sad to leave. Just outside. Walter Koenig played the role of Pavel Chekhov in Star Trek, the original series. 
His character was a young, energetic, and optimistic navigator aboard the USS Enterprise. Koenig's portrayal of Chekhov earned him a loyal fan following. He just, he just loved it. I think it was also a way for him to meet women, you know. <laughs> in later years, Koenig reprised his role as Chekhov in several Star Trek films and made guest appearances on Star Trek, The Next Generation, and Star Trek, Renegades. What do you think about the role of Pavel Chekhov? Magil Barrett played several important roles in the Star Trek franchise, including the character of Nurse Chapel in the original series. She was also the voice of the iconic computer system and later played Luaxana Troy, the mother of Deanna Troy, in Star Trek The Next Generation. Over, you don't have to act. That's right. I, that, that, that's how he introduced me to the, uh, to the part, and he said it's sort of the Andy Mame of the galaxy. Barrett was not only an actress, but also the wife of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and played an integral role in the franchise's development. Did you find Magil Barrett in 1966 beautiful? Grace Lee Whitney played the role of Yeoman Janice Rand in the first eight episodes of the Star Trek, the original series. Her character was known for her distinctive hairstyle and her flirtatious behavior towards Captain Kirk. I prostituted myself, okay? Does that sound a little, maybe I was his mistress, I don't know. Despite her early departure from the series, Whitney later reprised her role in several Star Trek films and remained a beloved member of the Star Trek community until her passing in 2015. Eddie Paskey is an American actor best known for his role in the original Star Trek series as Lieutenant Leslie, a background character who appeared in numerous episodes. Although he never had a major role, Paskey's character became well-known and beloved by fans of the show. By Bill Shatner. Shatner. Every day, I came in at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Paskey also worked as a stand-in for William Shatner, playing Captain Kirk in scenes where Shatner was unavailable. Welcome to Huda Channel on YouTube, the place where we compile the most famous Hollywood actors in the movies. We are delighted to share with you interesting changes of movie stars from the time they started in the movie until now. With our passion for movies, we hope that our videos will help you understand more about your favorite actors and the movies they have participated in. Let's explore the very interesting changes over time of Hollywood stars with Huda Channel.